uh, this time I want to say a few things about definite and indefinite article in Somali. Uh, what's the differences between Somali and English? Uh, if we start uh, by having a look at the English system, uh, we may have nouns in English without any article at all. So bare nouns, as shoe, for example. Uh, we may add an indefinite article to a noun, for example, a shoe. And we may add a definite article to a noun, the shoe. So we have three different possibilities. And it's also worth mentioning that we can, of course, also add a numeral before a noun, one shoe. And this is interesting for, for speakers of many other European languages like Swedish, uh, German, French, and so on, because in a number of languages, the indefinite article and the numeral are uh, homonymous. So in, in Swedish, both the indefinite article and the numeral is N. In French, un, in, in, in German, ein, and so on. Uh, so it's important to make this distinction between indefinite article and numeral, which of course for English speakers is, is a very natural thing to do. If we now compare this English system to the Somali system, there is an important difference. Uh, first of all, we have a bare noun with no article, cup in Somali, shoe, uh, but we don't have any indefinite article in Somali. So there is no direct formal uh, uh, possibility in Somali that corresponds to a shoe. Uh, it will also be just a cup with no article in Somali. So Somali doesn't have an indefinite article. It lacks the indefinite article. But of course, Somali has the definite article as we have already seen. Um, and it's added as an ending, as a suffix at the end of nouns. So the shoe in Somali is cap. Kapta. And of course, we can uh, express the notion of one shoe in Somali, and one is hal, so we'll hal kap, one shoe. Uh, so in Somali, there is uh, the possibility of having the noun without an article, kap, or with a definite article. Uh, but there is no such thing as an indefinite article. And also, the article is not an independent word like in English. It's a suffix. It's an ending. So instead of talking about articles in Somali grammar, it's more convenient to talk about forms. So it would be better to say that we have an indefinite form and a definite form in Somali. So the indefinite form has no ending, whereas the definite form has the ending ta. So Somali has indefinite and definite form of nouns uh, instead of articles like English. Uh, that's all on this subject, uh, but of course there's a lot more to say about the form of the definite article, and we will come back to that later.